So how did I capture the most insane stunt clip possibly that I've ever done? This is the story, this is how it all started. I was on a shoot in Tennessee with Mastercraft, my sponsor, and uh, I had no idea that we were gonna do this stunt at all. Natalie at Mastercraft had this crazy idea. There's this tunnel that connects one lake to the other part of the lake. She thought it would be cool if the boat whipped me through the tunnel and then another boat picked me up. And I'm like, hey, I'm all for it. I'm, I love doing cool new stuff, doing stunts, whatever. That's what I'm all about, especially when it comes to the boats and wake surfing and everything so uh we went and scouted it one day and when we went to go scout it we had to go i remember coming up to the tunnel and seeing this tiny little tunnel and just being actually super scared of this little tunnel i've never been in so scared of a tunnel and i'm pretty sure it's because i knew that i was going to fly through that thing really fast and try to catch a boat on the other end and uh so we go up to the tunnel and i'm just like oh my god like it just looked scary because i knew what what they wanted me to do and it looks so small too and after we started kind of logistically thinking about it i'm like man i have to really come through this thing with a lot of speed to really get through so we actually uh went to go scout it and we we're like hey might as well just go for a couple test test whips to see if we can even make it through this thing before we get you know all the people with the cameras and stuff like that so we did a couple test whips and right away I, I didn't even make it through so we bumped up the speed to about 20 miles an hour did the whip again uh, by that time we had a old lady at the lake come yell at us but then we had the right person with us we smoothed it over she let us do a few more whips we told her we're gonna come back later hit this thing again so we had to deal with the Karen on the lake. Thankfully, we were able to get a few more practice attempts in, and it wasn't until we bumped the speed up to about 28 miles per hour uh, that I had enough speed to get all the way through the tunnel and out of the tunnel with what I thought was enough speed to catch a uh, boat wake um, on the other side. Keep in mind, I, I, it wasn't about just getting through the tunnel. There was like a no wake buoy that we had to uh, turn off before the tunnel. So there was about I had to let go of the rope like 150 feet before the tunnel, plus however long the tunnel was, and then plus however far out the boat was on the other side from the tunnel. I think we measured on Google Maps, it was like 700 foot whip or something like that, something ridiculous. So it was definitely about as fast as I could get pulled and whipped behind a boat at 28 miles an hour before your board starts basically like creating this weird drag sensation because you're going so fast speed we're going 28 on the whip combined with the whip pi times x equals zero carry the one i was going probably about between 48 and 55 possibly i don't know how fast i was going but somewhere around there really fast and i had to be extremely accurate so i've done these whips uh, you know hundreds of times before but i've never had to like be super accurate and thread the needle through a corrugated pipe otherwise i'd be cut in half if i hit the side of it or the edge or i didn't catch my rail enough to get traction on the board so lots of terrible stuff going through my head that i had to just kind of ignore and uh, push through so later that day we come back with the boat and it's go time so we just went for it um the hardest part was just timing the boat on the other side so keep in mind that boat has no idea when I'm letting go of that rope or when I'm going through the, the pipe, it, there was kind of up to the drone pilot who was filming the whole thing via drone to let the boat driver on the other side know, hey, he just let go of the rope, he's going through the pipe, let's go, let's start moving. So the drone pilot was kind of uh, responsible for a lot of the timing and that's, it was a big group effort, man. Like Steel Lafferty was uh, the one whipping me in, pro wakeboarder, 
Andrew Atkinson was on the other boat, uh, hitting it at the right time. Steve Bates on the drone, uh, coordinating with these guys, you know, when to turn, you know, turn the boat on and start moving on the other side. It was definitely a huge group effort. Um, and it took the fourth try before we actually pulled it off. did it three times in a row successfully. It's funny because the production team, which they won't admit this, but they did not want me to use the mouth mount off the bat, but I knew that was gonna be the sickest angle and I'm super glad I did, because it's definitely the sickest angle of this of the video. But um, yeah, I'm super glad I did. The first two attempt, successful attempts with the mouth mount, I had the water droplets on there, so I was like, I know I can get a better one without those water droplets, nice and clean. I want to hit the three shove right off the bat, and uh, we did it. And once I got that, I almost got greedy and went for another one. And I was like, wait, what am I doing? I got the clip, leave it. Just leave the GoPro on the boat, lock the thing up. I don't want to drop it in the water and then lose it. I've done that, been there before. So yeah, all in all, that's, uh, that's how it all went down. And I'm super stoked to have done this stunt. Had another cool idea to do. Thanks to Natalie at Mastercraft coming up with this idea. Thanks for the whole crew who kind of came together and made this thing like a possibility because it was definitely a group effort. Super stoked to finally get it out there. And um, thank you everybody for sharing and commenting and liking. It was definitely a really fun stunt. Yeah, I can't wait to the next stunt or whatever else we come up with next. If you guys have any ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have any more questions about this video, don't be afraid to comment below. I'll try to respond to any questions you guys have. But usually speed was the main thing. How many tries did it take me was the second thing. And also, people didn't believe that uh, the boat could get there in time. And you're right. It was two different boats transferring from me from one lake to another lake. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about the video. Thank you guys so much and hope you enjoyed it.